Welcome back. So we had partly cloudy skies made our way through the day today. We did have some precipitation, especially into our eastern counties. Most of us did stay dry. High temperatures were into the upper 40s. We have since fallen to 36 degrees in Scotts Bluff. The wind definitely has picked up. Right now, sustained west at 26 miles per hour, gusting to 52, giving us a wind chill of 24 degrees. Other temperatures across the region show 32 right now at Kimball and at Gordon, uh, 28 at Harrison, but most of us into the mid-30s. There's your wind, so it really has picked up since the afternoon. These are sustained winds, mainly from a strong westerly direction. Wind speeds right now between 25 and 35 miles per hour. And here's where some of the strongest wind gusts are. And we just had a wind gust in Scotts Bluff reported at 52 miles per hour. Uh, most of the rest of the panhandle have wind gusts 45 to 50 miles per hour. So prepare for that as you make your way outside. It's pretty windy out there and those conditions are going to continue. It's dropping the wind chill into the low to mid 20s, even though temperatures are still into the mid 30s. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. So that westerly wind is extremely dry. So we've lost any of the clouds and especially any of the showers around. So really nothing can happen. So we've got clear skies across the region. Uh, here's a look at the surface map showing that a low pressure system is exiting. The snow from it is mainly off to the north. So we have that strong flow behind the cold front that has just made its way through giving us that westerly wind. Another system is right behind it. It'll skirt us to the south. Maybe a, a few more rain or snow showers over the next few days. So let's track it through time. Clear skies tonight, windy conditions falling into the upper 20s. And then we'll start off tomorrow in the lower 20s. But as soon as we get that wind flipping around to an easterly direction, the opposite happens. We have an increase in the clouds. Temperatures on their way down. High temperatures for tomorrow into the upper 30s to near 40. And then going through the day on Thursday, we'll start Start off into the lower 20s. High temperatures only reaching the upper 30s, and we do have a chance of some snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So the first system has missed us off to the north. There's that uh, very windy westerly wind that will exit. Then we have another low that will just skirt us off to the south with that very uh, slight snow shower chance uh, into Thursday morning. Another shot of cool air will be the last one for Friday morning before we'll get back into the dual high pressure and warm up as we go through the weekend. So we got the cool air over us right now. The snow is into the northern plains and into the southwest. We'll uh, tap into the northern fringe of that snow over the, uh, the southwest as it follows the jet stream. But we'll stay mainly dry. Most of the rain across the country is not only in the two snow systems, but into the southeast, too. The warm air has moved off to the west coast, so we're going to be cooler than average with that dip in the jet stream. Here's a look at the extended forecast, and we'll have a high of 40 for tomorrow and 37 on Thursday and only near 40 again on Friday. Chances for some snow showers Wednesday night into Thursday morning, again Friday night, but they all look light. Mostly sunny over the weekend with highs rising from 42 on Saturday to 52 on Sunday and partly cloudy skies with a slight chance of some rain or snow showers Monday and Tuesday with highs into the low to mid 40s. Angel. Thanks, Justin. A winter storm system is impacting more than two dozen states taking aim on the Northeast overnight. Here's more.